Here I've got a plaster mold of my face. Uh, it's pretty rough and it's also hollow on the backside. So I'm gonna try to um, fill it all the way up with uh, plaster here and make it into a mold that I can uh, cast with uh, aluminum. The, the plaster is just finished drying and I just finished cutting down the edges a little bit. So uh, that's what I got and I can set a little board in there to make, me, make it easier for me to make the mold later. So I'll let this dry for a couple hours and then I will come back and um, sand it down to make sure there's no lumpies on the outside here. And then um, I'll get ready to paint it. The, uh, the mold here had dried a bit and um, I sanded it down to get some of the rough spots off and I've just spray painted it so that it has like a, a nice and glossy finish so when I use it in the sand mold it doesn't uh, stick to the sand and rip the mold apart. I've now got the uh, face in the bottom of the, the, I mean the top of the drag which is upside down and then I've just put some talcum powder on it to help it release once I pack the sand in. Just filled the uh, mold with sand and packed it down. Now it's time to take these screws and put them in the, uh, the holes there then wiggle the mask out. Just remove the face from the mold. It looks like it made a little bit of a, uh, it took off some sand on the side there. Um, that's probably because of all the uh, the frillies that were still on the um, the mask um, on the side because these edges were a little bit a uh, little bit higher than the the rest of it. But other overall, it came out okay, and that's not a huge deal because I can file some pieces like that off or repair it with a little bit of sand. <clears throat> Just finished packing both halves of the mold, and now I'll add some end gates and runners so that the metal can flow in smoothly. All right, here's the sprue wheel I've just added in the end gate into the mold. And then I'll stack the second box on top here and make a hole to go down into this one. And then make a hole right here as a riser so the metal will fill all the way up in the mold. Mold's now finished. It got a little chippy on the edges here when I was putting in the sprue holes. But um, I think it'll work still. So I'll go heat up some metal and then we can pour it in and see how it comes out. Looks like there might have been a little water in the mold. Better add some more. Hopefully that's complete. I'll let this sit for a couple minutes and come back and crack it open. It didn't come out too bad. Pretty complete casting. It's gonna have a little bit of cleanup though, that's okay.
Looks like it didn't completely fill the back, but that should be okay since it's not really going to be that noticeable. It looks like it cooled a little bit right here, and then it couldn't fill up completely before it got to the riser. You can see the riser's kind of skinny there. Or what happened was um, there was gas, and the gas bubbled up, and it made a like a big amount of pressure in between that and um, <clears throat> this riser right here. Yeah, that looks like what, that's what happened. You can see there's a bubble there. So I think the casting sand was a little bit too wet, but overall it came out okay, so I don't have any complaints with it. <clears throat> I just finished out, um, finished digging out the uh, the risering system, and, or, and uh, you can see some large cavities on the side here. So that definitely means that it was uh, gases, and since this was pretty good aluminum, I'm assuming that it was uh, just the water in the casting sand, because you have to have this stuff pretty wet to get it a good bond, especially with a difficult mold like that. So I don't think there's really anything I could have done about that. It's not going to be noticeable though. I've just finished the uh, initial um, filing and polishing on the, uh, the mask here, and I think it's going to come out okay. There was a lot of a lot of blemishes. Um, from the plaster where it wasn't smooth when I um, put it in. And then in here there was, um, you can still kind of see it, some of the uh, marks from the, the plaster, um, like the uh, the cloth sort of look to it. But, and uh, there's some rough spots on the nose that are gonna need to get finished down more, but you know, I'll just hit it with a lighter grade um, <coughs> paper now and uh, see how it looks. I've uh, just finished a polish with the um, uh, P80 sandpaper. It's definitely got a, a nicer sheen and finish to it now. I'm wearing a dust mask because this powder is really fine. I don't want to be breathing any of it in. But yeah, it looks like it's coming out nicer now. Now I'm going to hit it with a 220 and then a uh, 1120. I mean, a <laughs> yeah. I've uh, just finished hitting it with the, uh, the 220. And now I'm ready for the really fine stuff, which will make it super shiny, which is the uh, the 1200. So I'll get started on that now. I've uh, just finished with the 1200, and I uh, think I'm going to wash it with some alcohol to pick off all the oils and the rest of the small particles, and I'll show you it under a nice light. Just finished... Um, washing it with the uh, alcohol and you need to wash it with a volatile um, solvent because otherwise you know the water will react with the metal a little bit but I think it came out really shiny you know it came out pretty good finish for what it was beginning with <clears throat> if the um, plaster were a little bit more um, I don't know like representative of the facial features you'd see a little bit more here on the eyebrows and in the eyes but I think it's pretty good and uh, pretty darn shiny. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. And so I want to show you that I collected all the aluminum powder that I um, created throughout the sanding process, mixed it with some sulfur and um, silicon dioxide. So I make a little thermite here.
Thanks again.